How's it going guys, Dom here. In this video, we're gonna talk about whether you should study web development or mobile development in 2022. So I've done both and I just wanted to create this video for those of you out there that are debating between, you know, studying mobile development or web development. In future video, we're gonna go over the other possibilities that you could do, such as game development, you know, uh, backend web, back-end development, stuff like that. So, you know, the reason why I wanted to focus on mobile versus web is web is the most popular right now. If you look on YouTube, everybody is looking at, you know, web development here and there, but mobile is actually a really good option as well. So I'm gonna tell you about the pros and cons of each of them so that you can make a sound decision for yourself on which one that you wanna do based on the pros and cons that I talk about in this video. So let's talk firstly about web development. So before we get to which one you should actually do, let's talk about what web development typically is, uh, typically uh, it consists of, right? So web development, you would typically be something of a full stack web developer. So you would focus on, you know, uh, your front end, which is gonna be HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Maybe you have a little bit of a backend through Node.js, you know, that kind of stuff. Maybe you use a React framework, an Angular framework. Whereas on the mobile side of things, you know, you have two types of, uh, two types of mobile development where you have your native mobile development, which is gonna be either using Kotlin or Swift, or you have cross-platform platforms like Jammerin and uh, React Native, and you know that kind of thing right so let's now go into what the pros and cons of each of them are so let's first talk about web development so web development one of the obvious pros is you know there are a lot of positions out there when it comes to web development right so why is it that there's a lot of positions in web development compared to all the others well the first thing is everybody needs a website, right? Everybody, local businesses, big companies, they all need a website. You know, the internet is powered by, you know, web browsers, everybody's surfing the web. So as a result, there is demand for that, right? Now, another pro is that, you know, web development, uh, you can target all different sorts of sides of business, right? So, you know, you could, target your big guys like your fangs and stuff like that or you could target your local mom and pop shops which is great when you're learning because you know you can go to these local businesses these small businesses and then you can pitch them on creating a website for them or improving a website for them and this is how you really make money while you're learning to code which i can definitely talk about in a future video so that's one of the pros so Another uh, pro of this is the fact that you're, there's more of, because there's more jobs, there's more of a likelihood that you're going to get into the industry and get your first engineering job. You know, uh, I won't deny, I am a mobile developer, but it's much easier for you to actually get into web development because there's just so much demand. And when there's so much demand, that means there's a lot of more companies that need, you know, uh, mobile not mobile, I mean web developers. And as a result, there's more of a likelihood that a company is going to take a chance on you as a self-taught or a new entry-level developer. So that's one of the pros to studying web development. Now let's talk about some of the cons here. Some of the cons is the fact that, you know, you're not going to get as paid as much as a mobile developer, right? So mobile developers usually have a salary of about $100,000 a year, as opposed to a web developer where they would typically get paid like 80K, you know, 70K, around that range, right? So if you're chasing money, then, you know, web development might not be the situation for you or what you want to study, right? Let's talk about some of the other cons is the fact that because there's such a broad range of companies out there, 
there's more likely to be companies that are simply taking advantage of web developers trying to get into the industry. So if you look at a lot of the job posts, I've looked at a lot of the job postings and I've seen many of the low quality employers that are paying like $15 an hour, sometimes even $7 an hour for web developers. Those I've only found in web development and not necessarily in other types of development like, you know, mobile or back end or front end or stuff like that, right? So clearly there are companies out there that are trying to take advantage of people trying to get into the industry. So by studying something like mobile dev, you're less much, you're much less likely to get those kind of companies out there, right? So now we talk about uh, web development. Let's move over to mobile development. What are the pros of it? Well, the pros, number one, is going to be a higher compensation, right? So why is it that mobile developers get a higher compensation? Well, it's simply because of the fact that if you think of it from a business sense, you're only going to need a mobile app when you've already had your existing customer base and you want to increase customer loyalty to that particular brand. This is why most mobile developers will typically work at big companies, you know, like Google, uh, Facebook, TikTok, those kind of things, because these guys have really big established mobile apps that get a large amount of downloads in the app store such that they do need mobile developers. Now, this is also a con as well because there's not as much uh, demand for mobile developers as there is for web developers because being a mobile developer is so niche. You know, only certain companies have a need for mobile developers especially when you get to the fact of native app development, there's only a certain amount of companies that, you know, have need for native mobile developers like this. But this also could be a pro because it depends what your goals are. You know, if you want to get into a big tech company like Google or Facebook or TikTok or Snapchat or stuff like that, you're better off studying uh, mobile development to get your foot in the door as opposed to say web development, because there's just so much more competition out there when it comes to being a mobile developer or rather a web developer uh, than it would be if you were a, uh, a web developer. I can speak from personal experience because if you look on my channel, I've interviewed with LinkedIn, TikTok, you know, eBay, and all of those are for native mobile app development and they all reached out to me. So you can see there that there is a lack of uh, native app developers out there at these big tech companies. So if your goal is just to increase your total compensation and really, you know, make as much money as possible, I do recommend that you go down the, uh, the that uh, mobile route. But on the flip side, that's another con as well, is if you're just trying to get a job, if you're just trying to get in the industry, then mobile might not be the best for you due to its lack of demand. Now, what's another con of uh, mobile development? Well, another con of mobile development is the fact that you need, since you're much more closer to memory registers, it might not be a good option for those that are thinking about, are going from unrelated industries. So for example, if you came from a non-traditional background, let's just say that you studied psychology, or you're a teacher, you know, you're going to have a much larger learning curve when it comes to learning mobile development because you really need to understand what's going on behind the scenes. Whereas opposed to, say, web development, you know, it might be a little bit easier for you because you only need to worry about, you know, learning the syntax and learning the logic and stuff like that, as opposed to memory management, which can be a difficult thing. I come from a background of electrical engineering, so I do have that understanding of, uh, of memory management since I did study C and assembly, so I do have that little bit of an advantage there. So that's something that you might want to consider. So speaking on the fact of a learning curve, what's actually easier to learn? Well, I kind of alluded to it, but it really depends on your background. 
If you come from a more technical background, then really both languages are going to uh, really be equally satisfactory, right? But if you come from a non-traditional background, like psychology, like, you know, being a teacher, you know, being in sales, some sort of unrelated industry, I do recommend that you uh, study web development simply because of the fact that you don't have to worry about memory management and stuff like that. But with that being said, if that's a challenge that you want to take upon, I do recommend that you get into mobile. You also have to assess what your career goals actually are. Are you looking to get into big tech right out the gate? You probably want to study mobile development to start out. Whereas suppose if, if you just want a software job, if you just want to work remote and you uh, care more about the lifestyle, I do recommend that you focus on web development simply because of the fact that, you know, there's more demand. So there's more companies that are willing to provide a remote friendly workplace. Another reason you might want to get into web development, for example, is if you wanted a part time gig, right? You know, you could go and uh, get a part time job, get paid hourly while you keep your main job in tech web development would be probably a little bit more feasible for that because of the fact there's a lot of companies that might be willing to do part-time as opposed to most traditional jobs that are going to be full-time. Now, what's another one? Well, how about, you know, mobile development? What are some of the other reasons that you might want to study mobile development? Well, the first thing is if you actually enjoy it, and this is really the case for both of them, what do you really enjoy more? Do you enjoy making apps or do you enjoy making websites, right? That's going to be another consideration. Now, the last one is going to be when it comes to freelancing or being a business owner. Which one should you pick in that particular case? Well, my recommendation is to pick web development. So because of the fact that there's more of a need for it, you can easily build your portfolio much easier than you would as a mobile developer, where freelancing can be a little bit more difficult. You know, everybody needs a website, it's very easy to pitch, especially to local businesses, and that's really where you can get your start there. So that's it for the video on whether to study web development or mobile development in 2022. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know about the new configuration I have in the background. You know, I decided to change it up instead of facing towards my uh, the background, my chest drawer. So let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video.